Hi there, uh, Luke Waters from Micromax Sensors and Automation here in Melbourne. This is uh, one of the latest applications uh, we've been working on for uh, one of our customers, Flexpack Services. Uh, basically what we're looking at is a dual head uh, filling system uh, with uh, linear actuator control. Customer approached us for a solution um, for, for, for hardware and control um, for this application, which is basically a filling machine uh, which will be filling yogurt tubs, different sizes, one litre, two litre, five litre and ten litres. And uh, basically the requirement from the customer was that they needed a filling system which would bottom fill uh, because the product is a foaming product. Um, the, the, the fill heads here need to basically uh, travel down into the container and fill from the bottom up to reduce any foaming. Um, so uh, yeah, basically what we've uh, supplied them is one of our PLCs. Unitronics uh, V130-33-TR20. Um, we supplied uh, the sensors for the system, the, 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 the photoelectrics, which uh, control the gate control, which are just our uh, banner diffuse uh, photoelectrics. Um, we've also got on here uh, a banner ultrasonic uh, with an analog output, which gives us um, our linear position just off this target which you can see. Uh, we also supplied uh, the VSDs for the system, Telemec Telemechanique VSDs, which you've got three. You've got one for uh, the linear actuator, you've also got one for uh, your, your pump control and one for the conveyor control. So basically the, uh, the Vision, the V130, um, is talking to each of the drives over Modbus RS-485 uh, party line. Um, and um, we also got some uh, uh, discrete and analog wired back into the, the controller as well. Uh, the, the, the controller itself, we've, we, we've designed the control system uh, basically, this is the, the, the navigation through the system. We've got uh, a number of different modes available. So this is our startup display, which gives us the option to, 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 to start and stop the conveyor. Um, and then in the middle there, we've got a, a, a mode select uh, for either fill, purge, CIP, manual override, and also our conveyor speed. We'll scroll back through to fill. So in our fill uh, menu, if we enter in our fill menu, uh, we've got the selection of four different volumes. We'll just select volume one now. Um, on the screen here, I'm just try and yep, get that back up. Uh, so what we're looking at is fill head one and two, um, and uh, the, the last amounted uh, volume. You've got PS, which is your pump speed, um, and LAS, which is linear actuator speed. We've got function button one here, which clears conveyor, and uh, a, a progress bar there as well, just which relates to uh, the, the volume as it's filling. And we've also got um, a set parameters um, section, which we can go in and fully configure a number of different variables for each of the different volumes. So basically in here we can set the fill volume, we can actually calibrate uh, the pulsed output from the flow meters, um, uh, which we've got it set, set at one mil for each of those at the moment. We can set the, the pump speed, uh, basically so we can go through and select each of those and, and configure them as we need. Scroll down, we've got a slow down volume, slow speed, FHH high and FHH mid is basically the fill head height positioning. We've also got one for low on the, the, the next screen as well. Um, this is all fully configurable so we can actually set the um, positioning height of the uh, linear actuator. Uh, and go down, there's your low position there. We've got uh, LA down speed which is our linear actuator down speed. 
linear actuator up speed, field delay uh, for the uh, uh, fill head to remain down inside the container for a set amount of time. And uh, on this page here we've got uh, uh, delays uh, for each of the PEs just so the, the containers don't get knocked around on the, uh, on the in feed or get jammed up or caught or anything like that. Um, and we've also got a compensation value to allow for the uh, fill head uh, response time as it's all done over pneumatics. So we've got FH1 comp value and the comp2 value. Okay, so now I'm just going to exit out of this screen and show you some of the other uh, menus and, and parameters. So if we wanted to basically keep the settings that we've, we've uh, entered in there, we can just hit function button 2 and run these settings and uh, basically uh, we're ready to go. I'll do a bit of a demonstration of the machine in, in a few moments after we go through uh, the, uh, the navigation of the, the HMI um, and just give a bit of an overall of how the, the machine runs and uh, what it looks like. Um, so basically if we uh, escape out of this menu now and uh, go back to our, our startup display and we'll have a look at some of these other menus. We've got our purge. Um, so if we select our purge um, menu, uh, basically this takes us to a screen which uh, allows us to start the, the purge or CIP process. Um, this is pretty uh, self-explanatory. You need to use the start button basically on the front of the, uh, the, the panel to, to, to start the process. The fill heads will go down to a known position which allow you to uh, insert a, um, a device to, uh, to basically run the, the purge and the, the, the CRP off the fill heads um, and then um, uh, once that's in position uh, we can hit the start button again or further insert it down, itself down into the, the device and then we can actually go through any, either purge fill head one, fill head two. Once it's done then we can basically hit uh, finish CIP which will take the, the linear actuator out of that device and uh, back to a, a home position. Um, pretty much a similar sort of story for CIP if we go into CIP. Um, basically uh, it would do the same process of inserting itself down into that, uh, that device um, and then uh, we can enter in our, our CIP time, our pump speed for the CIP and um, basically hit the start button, off we go. Um, we can interrupt the CIP uh, with function button two and um, in the bottom right hand corner you can see um, the, the, the four zeros there which are, are showing us that, that that will be the elapsed time of the preset, of the preset time. We go back out again and down into manual override. We've given the uh, the, the user the option to go in and run the machine manually. So here we're using basically the up and down bar arrows on the HMI uh, to select what function we, we would like to choose um, and then basically functions one and two to, to, to select. Um, so basically we've got linear actuator run down and run up and stop. Um, open um, gate one, close gate one, so forth. Gate three, open fill heads one and two, and basically that's it for manual override. Um, and finally, the last uh, screen, um, we can go in and basically select what speed we would like to run the conveyor at, and that'll uh, write that value to the, the, the conveyor VSD over the Modbus RS485. Okay, so we're going to do a uh, quick demonstration of the overall operation of the machine. Uh, we've got it set up for five litres, uh, five litre containers at the moment. Uh, we've only got uh, half a dozen containers lined up there. Unfortunately, we don't have the, uh, an accumulation table, uh, but it should be enough for the, the, the purpose of this demonstration uh, anyway. Um, so uh, at the moment, we've just uh, got gate one force closed uh, with our selected uh, switch here. So once we release that, um, we'll go into a, a, a full run operation. Um, so uh, here we go. So we'll uh, allow two containers to come in. The fill head goes down. It's got the fill delay. Then it will raise up to the mid position, which will stop. And then uh, wait to basically the containers reach the full volume. And then go back to the high position. So you'll see that again. 
going up, stops at the mid position, finishes filling, then goes to the home. Thanks very much.